and the Illini will be facing a shorthanded Michigan State team when they meet up this Saturday. Four Spartans players have been suspended following an ugly incident after their game against rival Michigan on Saturday. Video shows at least 10 players violently attacking one Michigan player after the team's loss. Yes, you saw that video right. Supposedly four Michigan State players started to fight two Michigan players in the tunnel after the game. But what's good, YouTube? It's your boy back with another video, man. And yeah, y'all saw the video. Supposedly four Michigan State players like jump basically two Michigan players coming back from the tunnel from the game. And if y'all didn't watch the game, Michigan won, I think it was 29 to seven, something like that. But this is just unacceptable. I mean, you can kind of expect that though because Michigan State and Michigan is a rival and you know them rival games be heated. But the four Michigan State players that got suspended for fighting two Michigan players was their starting defensive back, Angelo Gross. Starting defensive end, Zion Young. Backup defensive end, Itavion Tank Brown. And backup defensive back, Kerry Crump. Now, that's literally two of their starting defensive players. And then you got two really big backups. Now, I don't know everything that was said between the players. I don't think nobody's really going to know what was said because I don't think it was caught on camera. I tried to research it and stuff, but I couldn't find out. So... So nobody's really going to know what was said, but that is that is really unacceptable. That's a embarrassment to the coaches and the staff and just the whole university. So you know they had to get some punishment. And Michigan State's head coach recently had an interview. I'm not going to play it because it's like two to three minutes long, and I know y'all don't want to see that. But I'm going to just sum it up for y'all. So basically, he was just saying he's sorry to everybody. He's sorry to the fans, to the community, to both of the teams. He's sorry for everything. And, and they got law enforcement into this and everything as of now. But you can just see the disappointment in his face. I mean, if I was their head coach and I was sitting up there talking about all this about my players, I would be furious at my, like, I'll be furious, man. Like, I, I would make them run so much it's not even funny. But the two Michigan players that Michigan State was fighting with was Jaden McBurrows and Jimin Green as MSU returned to its locker room following Saturday's 29 to seven loss to the Wolverines. Which y'all saw the video, I don't know why only two Michigan State players was walking in the tunnel with them while the whole Michigan State football team was walking through. I mean, I would have definitely had all my boys with me, you feel me? I ain't finna walk in there by myself. And on the video, I only really saw like one Michigan player. So like, come on, man, like, what are you doing? You gotta walk with your boys. I mean, come on, it's a rival game. I mean, I get the shoving, trash talking, getting in other players' faces. I mean, what, what else do you expect, man? Like, rival games are the most craziest games. You never know what's gonna happen. You never know if it's gonna be a crazy upset, a blowout, and like this, a fight just blows out. I mean, rival games are crazy. But you just gotta you gotta hold yourself back from fighting other players, man. I, I mean I get the trash talk and everything else, but you gotta hold yourself back. Which I don't even know if a lot of people knows about this fight because I didn't even see a lot of people talk about it. I saw I I didn't even know about this until somebody told me today. So it's like that's why I made this video because I don't think a lot of people really knows about what happened. But like I'm saying, you gotta hold yourself back. I mean, even if the Michigan and Michigan State players was arguing before the fight broke out, I mean, which they probably was because, like, you know what I'm saying, it's a rival game. Like I said, it's going to be heated. But you got to hold yourself back. You got to be strong. I mean, if they was talking trash, I mean, just literally shake their hand and say, good game, man. That shows good leadership and really good sportsmanship, and that's really important in college football. I mean, just think about what all the NFL coaches are thinking when they see them players do that. I bet all the NFL coaches I was looking at them specific players on Michigan State, I bet you they don't want them on their team no more because they know they can't control themselves. I mean, if it was one Michigan and one Michigan State player just fighting, that would have still been really bad and just it, is, it just looks bad on both of the teams. But I don't think it was Michigan's fault. I mean, y'all saw the video. It was really like four, maybe more Michigan State players just ganging up on literally two Michigan State or Michigan players. I mean, in the end, Michigan has the last laugh. 
I mean, like I said, they won 29 to seven, which which I knew what was gonna happen. I mean, Michigan State's not a good team. Michigan's number four. I'm not really sure what their new ranking is. I don't know if they're still number four or what, but they still won 29 to seven. They have the last laugh, and Michigan State's just looking stupid over here and getting straight embarrassed. I mean, if I was a coach, like I said, I would be furious at these players. I mean, all this wouldn't have happened if literally security let Michigan State go first and then Michigan go second. Because like I said earlier, I don't know why literally two Michigan players was literally walking through the tunnel while the whole Michigan State's team was walking through the tunnel also. But I still feel like it's Michigan State's player's fault. I mean, they didn't have to literally jump the dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, like come on now, but... I'm finna start wrapping everything up right here, y'all boys. I hope y'all enjoy these videos because I love making these for y'all. I mean, I just love interacting with y'all in the comments. Just talk about college football. I mean, and I just can't wait to keep on growing and growing to build a bigger community. So if y'all haven't yet, can y'all leave a like, comment, and subscribe on this video? It's free. It only takes like 30 seconds to do. And it keeps me motivated. It keeps me going. But yeah, y'all don't have to. But if y'all do, I really appreciate it. But yeah, y'all boys, I hope y'all boys have a nice day and I'm out. Peace.